crazy thing about that situation. By the way, like you, you said, you, you've lived in LA. Yeah. Like LA's always felt little spooky to me. And just tell me, and, and it's fine. You tell me if, if, if it's just me being pussy. But like, just <laughs> LA, I think I think because we, we, LA is synonymous with the death of Biggie, death of Pac. Yeah. Um, nah, he and looks high right I here. think it's just so much where like, like other places, but I've never seen yo gang culture over there. It's just that shit crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I went through some when I first first like was having in LA was Grape Street niggas to this day. You feel me? Uh, O3 Greedo and them. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? They try to do some type of shit. But they saying that I wasn't on it. You feel me? Like, yeah. they try to approach me on some cool shit. I'm just knowing too much. I'm from the trenches too. So I'm just like not paying it. I'm not, I'm not taking it lightly. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm clutching and all that. Like, I'm like, bro, what is y'all niggas trying to do? Like, I'm going off of the energy. What you saying right now? I know what you saying, but it's like, I'm getting it too. You feel me? Like, I'm not slow. I'm not. It's like, what's going on, bro? Like, what y'all trying to do? Like, yeah. when they yeah, people like, oh, we really listen to this like, trolling. We're posting low all the time. Let me hear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen. And when they peeped it, like they started like getting a little bit more lack of days, and it's like, all right, we could talk. You feel me? And they tried to test me, like on some test me shit. Like, yeah, they was just like, yeah, come to the hood. You feel me? Like, come oh, up to, the to the hood. I went to their hood. <laughs> you feel me? With all, with oh, up. You feel me? Like, I went with my <laughs> niggas. Like, it was like three of us, and we wasn't crazy <laughs> deep. Cause I just be wanting niggas to know, like. Nigga, that I'm like y'all. I'm, I'm just like y'all, bro. You feel me? Like I'm oh, just like you. I came from the trenches, and I want niggas to like. I'm, I don't know yeah, why I used to be like that. that. It's that respect, right? It's there. like yeah. I don't. I don't know why I used to always have that. Like everywhere I go, I wanted to touch the hood. Like, and it's also to kind of let them know, like yo, y'all built That's facts. Me too. You feel me? That's why I went to Thirsty Honey. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I want to go, Chad, no matter where it is, Chicago, LA, I want to be in the hood. You feel me? Like you want to at least touch the hood. It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's facts same time because, yeah, because sometimes people you can only relate if you're from the trenches trenches want to feel me they want to experience other trenches you want to see how they live in like specs they'll judge off they'll think that oh it's only niggas that come from where we at you yeah, like this and yeah no kizzy you, so when they seen that though them niggas respect the hand yeah. they like oh no this nigga pmb coming different you know how many niggas that we didn't ask had the same conversation with and told him to pull up to the block and yeah. them niggas said they was gonna come to the block. Like them niggas ain't never block at eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas never pulled two weeks up. ago. <laughs> yeah, Roddy Rich did the same shit when I pulled up the Roddy Rich projects two different times before Roddy Rich was even like yeah. super heavy. It was like, damn, bro, you just came out here like it was. What? Me, and him, me and him went to the projects. He like, bro, like you want what? You ain't got no security or none of that yeah, shit. Tripping. And it's like, bro, I got security, but I don't got security. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I be on my shit too. You feel me? So. I be on angles. I'm already watching everything that's going on, so it's gonna be kind of hard for you to give me because I used to do the same shit. Like, that probably gives you a lot of like respect and shit like that. Yeah, niggas fuck with that for sure. But I know like L LA's gotten just weird and and like I think during the pandemic I've been yeah. just hearing too much stories like niggas, yeah, niggas watching taking you know, off. Somebody of tried me on Fairfax like like mid pandemic, but it was like Why another they so one. Bold, of, though? I don't know. I guess because niggas be sweet. You feel me? And niggas they just. You niggas see me with my family, nigga. They think I'm just out here lacking. You know what I'm saying? So it would be one of those type of situations. So where like niggas. Y'all hear that just walking up to niggas in like broad daylight, like yo, give me your chain. <laughs> like I'm like yo, no, was, niggas try me on some. It'd be like every oh, time they try to take your jewelry or some shit. I don't know, but it'd be like I be on shit and I'm not. Where I'm from, we like sneaky criminals. Like <laughs> yeah. in LA, it's like they bold. It's like nah, they want you to know. They want you to. <laughs> I go my chat. I've just experienced some shit in LA too, bro. Them niggas. I don't know what it is. They just love gangbanging over there. Like, they're heavy on gangbanging in L.A., bro. Like, they're super heavy on it. They want to spark a conversation with you first before they get into some shit. Some of them. Some of them might just go crazy. Like, I know some niggas like that, too. They might not even... They might be on their sneaky shit, too. But the majority of the times I got into some shit, it was like they just gave a drop up too fast. You feel me? So the second time I got into some shit, it was like niggas was just talking loud as shit, wanting me to hear their conversation. And it's like, I'm with my peoples. Like, I'm with my, my, my daughter and my girl. Like, why are they talking about this gangster shit? Like, this around. Like, we outside. We on Fairfax. I'm like, man, you know, I already peed the blitz. We out. Like, out there on Fairfax. Like, like, that's what I'm that? saying. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm on Fairfax right now. <laughs> so I'm like, man, we out of here. You feel me? Like, we gone. My girl, like, no, nah, we ain't. I'm like, I'm just going off of the vibes. Like, we out. Is, is she peeping the energy? Because I'm no, she you ain't peeping. Yeah, she ain't peeping. She was thinking I'm tripping. about women sometimes. She be thinking man. I'm tripping. So, you know, mix all this. I'm like, no, we out. So she peeped it. I'm serious. She's like, no, we out. We drive probably like two blocks in the street. She thinking this shit a game. She pull over somewhere else. Like, oh, I wanted to go to this door right here. And then 
And a mix of me, like, telling her, like, where the park at, it's like, somebody just came fast as shit and took the parking spot, like, the same spot that we yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, they must have been following me or something, bro. How the fuck this car get behind me this <laughs> yeah. fast? Like, I ain't even look. I look back, and that shit was there quick as shit. Nah, he's a target. And then when I walked past, like, the car bombed out. Like, this shit tended to the max. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting all this heat coming from the car, though. Like, I'm feeling the energy coming from the car. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Who that car? Like, you know, some other shit. I ain't going to the store for two seconds. The same people coming from out the car, hopping the store, hyping shit. See some <clears> gang banging <throat> shit, like some set of my, I don't know what they said. They said some shit out loud. Set tripping. But it was like, son, I, I seen that nigga PMB rocking LA too, chat. I seen him with Silky in like 2019. Now that I recognize the energy. You feel me? I'm like, he what? always out there so in Fairfax. Like, he always there. He like, Started talking to me with some gangsta shit. Like, I'm like, bro, do you know me? Like, you know me from somewhere? He like, nigga, yeah, I know who you is. Da, da, da. Trying to get me to, like, get into some shit. So I'm like, man, I flagged him off and I just walked out the store. Because I already know, like, where this shit about to go. You feel me? You, you don't that make you nervous if, like, you with, like, your, your girl? Your no, daughter. that's why I be trying to be cool. Because you don't want to be nervous and make it seem like something about that. You, wanna, you, you want them to be as calm too, as possible. Though. You feel me? You want your girl and your kids to be, like, making it seem like everything is cool. Ain't nothing about to happen to us, you feel me? Like, we super good. So I just be cool. I just kept it cordial. I'm like, come on, man, we out. This niggas on some real shit. Yeah. You feel me? They got to the car, and when they get to the car, that's when I let niggas know, like, I'm not on that. You feel me? And I ain't gonna say what happened, but niggas know that I'm just not on that. You yeah. Feel me? It's like, all right. He ain't one of them. You well, feel me? At least like, I didn't take your. I heard. Well, I, I will, won't name the, the the rappers, but I've heard of like three rappers. Like it's so common. Bro, it's now. more than like, three. Niggas be getting their shit took, and they, it don't be spoken about because it's like why I'm you want to talk about? I it. hear it's so normal that, like usually when you rob a rapper, like everybody knows. It's be like oh shit, that nigga got his shit took. Yeah. I'm in mean, LA. It used to be so, like that. Niggas used to be like yeah. Oh yeah, we got such and such chain, but now it's like. It's so common, and niggas don't want you to know they stole nigga shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Niggas don't want that shit to come back on them. Niggas is getting locked up. Yeah. Niggas is, people is coming back for niggas. Like, it's like, once you get away with some shit, why you want to make that shit hot? Niggas ain't all everybody ain't dumb. Shit, but they ain't taking nothing from you. No, I never got wrong. No. Ever in my whoa, life. Whoa, whoa. I ain't going to say never, because, you know, I don't, yeah. really, I don't like saying never. I'm not, super, I'm not superstitious or nothing like that, but I haven't been robbed. That's why I feel like LA spooky, man. Like it's just so bold. Like I'm seeing mad Oof. videos. It's yeah, broad. Exactly. Like they don't even do it at night. Like like night maybe, but broad daylight. Like, that's when they really do it. Yeah, that shit. And, crazy. And, and it's not one of those shit where they're kind of walking up, like hoodied up, like yeah. like just trying to sneak through. They just, they just walking like a regular this. nigga. And hey, we got this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know, man. What the like, fuck is going on? This is the new generation. You know that shit. Like everybody on some demon shit. Demon time. This demon that. It's so funny because that don't happen like in, in Miami or whatever. Where's your face? That's it, do. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't know. Bro, yeah, I know a couple niggas that got robbed in Miami, bro. Yeah. Oh, shit. Niggas got robbed in Miami. <laughs> hey, Boogie. Where's your face? Did A Boogie don't get robbed in Miami, Chad? That's what Kodak said. I don't know how true it was, but I know you got your chain tucked too in front of your homie. What? No, I never got my chain. Where place to be? Outside. Honestly. Of I tell everybody this story, right? Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> I value my life. There's a certain persona or image that they that the media is fascinated with, with people not getting their chain snatched, and they like to clown niggas and call them pussy for getting their chain snatched and shit like that. Bro, if I'm in a situation, me personally, right? Nigga, I'm gonna give that shit up. You feel me? Bro, insurance, you can get that shit back plus double, bro. You make it double your money, bro. Like, fuck, it's insurance. Nigga, I would take my shit off and happily get paid, bro. My 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 jewelry is not the value of my fucking life. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And then there's a lot of niggas who have the diamonds and shit like that. You feel me? And they just walking around lacking. Like me personally, nigga, I'm not putting my cardigan on my wrist and my chain around my neck if a stick is not present. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why niggas be feeling so comfortable going to Walmart, some of these stores, some of these stores just walking around with all their jewelry on with no stick. Bro, even 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 when I go to other cities, bro, and shit like that, you feel me? Like, bro, I'm not finna go to other people's cities with jewelry on if I don't have a stick. Bro, you got to have a stick, you feel me? Anywhere you're at. Chicago, bro, I was in Chicago, listen, TP, but you feel me? Yeah, no matter where I'm on, bro, no matter where you're at, bro, you're not supposed to feel comfortable with diamonds all around you 
And you know what type of person you are without a stick in your pocket or your man's pocket. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. I would never, ever feel comfortable. Yo, I remember one time I was on South Beach with my cousin. And we heard some shots pop off at South Beach. Pop, pop, pop. Those shit sounded close. Nigga, you know what I did? I instantly. Yes, nigga, I'm going to tuck my shit. The fuck? Nigga, some shots just rang off, nigga. Of course. Nigga, I ain't never called that Uber so fast. Because when you at South Beach... Nigga, when you're in South Beach, bro, you're not, they're like, you can't park at South Beach. You got to be, like, certain garages and shit. You feel me? Nigga, I, you feel me? I tucked my shit so fast and called that damn Uber. Yo, yo, cuzzo, we out. You feel me? Let's hit the nearest store. We out. This nigga's busting. You feel me? So, no more fireworks, bro? No. See, this one, he was, this one, same thing with PNB Rock was saying, too. Miami's not sweet either. Miami's just on the same type of shit. Bro, there's niggas in Miami who's out there on South Beach hungry, nigga. Yo, any nigga who's from Miami, they'll tell you, don't go to South Beach at night. Don't go at night. Because them niggas is out there. You feel me? And that's, that's, the, that's the exact same shit where we was at. Like, we was on South Beach. My cousin was new to the city. I was showing him around the city. In South Beach, we hear shots ringing. Nigga, pop, pop, pop. I had my shit on me. But, nigga, I'm not, I'm, I wasn't, like, you feel me? I wasn't going to just back out, nigga. I'm like, yo, nigga, I, we out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Typical Uber run. <laughs> he said typical Uber run. No, I can't lie. That was funny. That was dick riding, but funny. <laughs> dick riding. <laughs> All right, let me see this. So, y'all like L.A.? L.A.? Yeah, I like it because, I, like I said, I do me. I, I keep it. Torres are like, I don't really be outside like that, neither. You know what I'm saying? To be, like, in the mix of the dumb shit. Where I'm at, I'm going to the shop. I'm going to get some drip. I'm going to probably go to the bank. You know, I'm at places where niggas probably ain't really going to be at on no gangster shit. They yeah, yeah, doing yeah. the same shit I'm doing, you feel me? And nine times out of ten, I'm not going to the club. Niggas ain't going to be able to catch me after no club, no strip club, none of that. That'd be what the shit. Nigga be out lacking. It's just like, I'm just not doing that. You feel me? Nah, nah. I, I, nah, I definitely can't, agree with you. you ain't gonna put, I'm not going to put myself in those situations because I know what happened in those situations. You feel me? Like, it shit. Hey, what do you think about, and I think a bunch of people have said this, they said a rap, being a rapper is one of the most dangerous professions. Yeah. Um, I'm I don't wondering. think it's just being a rapper, though. I think it's just being an entertainer. Being a public figure in general is one of the most dangerous shits, bro. Because you don't you don't know what's going to happen to you at any given moment. That's just not just to rappers. That's to anybody. That's just personally how I feel. You guys could feel a way or how y'all feel a way about it, but I really just think it's anybody. Facts or fiction, Chad? Friend, what do you think about that? Because you're a rapper. Obviously, people think a certain type of way. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. Even, even, the, even the thing that happened with little TJ, you know what I mean? I think that shook a lot of people up because they're like, damn, yo, Edgewater used to be the spot where everybody's at. Like, that's I where know, everybody that, everybody man. get a little bit of money they're there. Now you're realizing, like, people either trying to... Niggas is, is looking at, at rappers as targets. Like, yeah, does people it make you move sweet. a little bit different? Yeah, I mean... Ever since my brother got killed, yeah, like my oldest brother, I've been moving different exactly. since. You feel me? Like, it's just been something in me to just let me know, like, this shit real life. I done seen people die. I done been around people that die. But when that shit hit your crib, crib, it's like, you know, like, all right, no. Nah, this shit real life. You feel me? Like, anybody can die. You fuck. Yeah. It could be anybody. Like, the last person that you expected could die. <clears throat> and, like, once you once that shit hit home to that point, it was like, all right, no, nah, I got to be on my shit. Like, a nigga can't just walk up on me. I mean, a nigga can't just even look at me like on some. It doesn't make you nervous though, like. Of course. Or make me just alert. Like, mm. when I'm out the country. That's probably the only time I'm be like, a little bit like. Yeah. A yeah. little bit free. That's me too. I, yo, I, I, yo, I remember saying. But to I somebody. still be on some shit like even out the country. I be feeling like it's niggas like that out here too. Probably. You know what I'm saying like, I just don't want to run into them niggas. You hear me? Because I ain't, I ain't on point like yeah. I am out here. Like I gotta be on some other shit. Damn. They R.I.P. chat.